Zombie Apocalypse. Hey there, Tinkercad friends. Let's review circuits again. And let me show you the little gear where we can duplicate a project. And this is also where we do the properties to change the name of the project. I want to keep my circuit one. So I'm going to keep it as just circuit one. And then I'm going to click on the duplicate I just made. And I'm going to change its properties to say Arduino circuit one. I'm going to leave it private and I'm going to save the changes and my main reason for that is because if you're watching this movie I would rather have you take the time to build it and then play with it than to just snag it and play with it. It's much more cool when you can look back and say hey I built that. So at this point let's hit tinker this. As promised let's turn this in, into an Arduino project by deleting the batteries and those wires. And then let's grab the components and bring in the Arduino. Click to set it down. And then let's connect the 5 volt to the plus. And let's do a new trick where we actually make that red so it's nice to recognize the wires. And let's do a ground to the negative and let's make it black. And when you hit start simulation, Everything works just like it did a minute ago, except now the electricity is coming from the USB and the 5 volt. So that's pretty nifty. But let's make it more cool. Let's stop that simulation and let's, instead of getting the electricity from the 5 volt plug, let's get it from the Arduino's port 13. Port 13 is super cool because it is built into the original code where it sends the electricity to port, port 13 but it does an on and off loop. So with that simple adjustment check out what happens when we start our simulation. Our project comes on. If we look down at the code we can see that it is on and off high and low for one second. If you want to adjust the code, you must stop the simulation and I'm going to change this to be 500 milliseconds. And then when I start the simulation again, notice the amount of time it's on and off has adjusted. I'm going to just change this simulation so that it's a little cleaner to look at. I am going to delete that cape uh, connecting wire. And I'm going to delete this green wire. And I'm going to instead come down to this rail so that things aren't covering each other. So I'm still going to connect to the negative. But then I'm going to go from the ground to the ground as well on this rail. You can see it still works the exact same way. But now I don't have those wires crossing over each other. I'm also just going to do some fun little detail changes like make my power wire red again and make my ground wire black just so I can keep my project organized. Have fun, explore the code, see what kind of cool things you can make. Make sure you share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Click on Zombie Apocalypse.